historical moment because this project is the very first result of the key partnership between Stanford University of Applied Sciences and Harvard Helia. My colleague in English, then, I think you might have a problem there. It, it will be quite difficult to do business in Finland if you don't speak uh, English. During this semester, we have been leading uh, an in depth interview. So, we wanted to find out how companies use English at work in Finnish and Dutch companies. And later on, we wanted to compare those results to see uh, if there are any similarities or any differences between the use of English in the Netherlands and Finland. So we divided the project into the research and the project, the overall project, so the color risk, as you have already heard. Um, uh, the students, so we can uh, improve our research and communication skills and strengthen, strengthen the partnership between our two universities. Using the local language creates a greater um, sense of um, connections with the, the, the market they're in. So you need to always adapt to your market. And this is especially the case when, for example, the, company, the companies in the Netherlands do business with Germany or Belgium, and they're able to speak the same languages, they're able to um, do their offline marketing in those communities. So 91% of the Finnish companies has an English version on the website. When they had an English version, they also had a Russian version and a Swedish version. In the Dutch, it was, in the Netherlands, it was just 88% of the Dutch companies had an English version on the website. When they had an English version on the website, they also had a Spanish version, a French version, and a German version. We noticed that some companies are fine using English to communicate either by face-to-face -face or with digital tools. But most companies prefer to communicate with face-to-face. -face. And they think that a direct human contact is way better, more efficient to deepen and strengthen their relationship with their business partners and the why not gain new partners. Our first question was uh, about uh, internal communication policies. We asked the companies, do they have a policy regarding their internal communication or not? And actually, we found out that uh, none of our internet companies have strict policies uh, concerning internal communication. They rather prefer using informal language. And uh, on the other hand, companies also expect their employees to use an appropriate level of English when it comes to professional matters. What is the uh, English requirement for candidate when they apply to uh, a company? Uh, according to the responses we received, um, we received that uh, it depends a lot on the position. So the higher position it is, the better English skill you should have. It also depends on the uh, business skill and also the target market and customer of the company.